Get the latest Zach's research, analysis, and rankings on exchange-traded funds in Exploring ETFs. Let's get the lowdown now on regional bank ETFs with our ETF research director, Nina Mishra. And in this current rate environment, what's going on with these banks? I think uh, banks are in a very good position to benefit from the steepening yield curve environment. Uh, you see that uh, the short-term interest rates are going to stay very low till the Fed maintains its Fed funds rate at near zero levels. And they have said that they are going to maintain the Fed funds rate at near zero levels till unemployment drops to 6.5 percent mm -hmm. and inflation does not exceed 2.5 percent. That may not happen in 2014, maybe sometime in 2015. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, long term rates are going up in anticipation of this tapering of Fed's bonds purchases. Now, actual tapering may start this year or it may not start this year, it may start next year, mm -hmm. but the markets are forward looking and they act in anticipation of the rise in long-term interest rates. So long-term rates are going up, short-term rates are staying low, yield curve is steepening. So that means the banks can borrow at cheaper rates mm -hmm. and lend at higher rates, which uh, increases their spread or net interest margin and right. they make more money. Uh, in addition to steepening yield curve, earnings picture in general is improving. And per Zach's estimate, uh, second quarter earnings uh, for the financial sector uh, will be up 19.1% from the second quarter of 2012. Now, rising rates also mean that mortgage origination and refinancing activity will be impacted. It mm -hmm. will come down. But I still think that uh, mortgage rates are still at record le low level. And only a steep rise from here will actually hurt banks. And uh, that, uh, that rise will be offset by expanding net interest margins. So the, the slowdown of, in the mortgage uh, origination business at this point doesn't worry you? Yeah, not, not at this point of time. Okay. Um, so then are the bigger banks or the regional banks in a better position in the current environment? It's kind of a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that uh, regional banks uh, are in a better position as of now. They have been seeing a solid loan growth and um, a spike in mortgage refinancing activities. Mm -hmm. Bigger banks are not lending that much. Then regional banks have simpler business model. They are involved in traditional banking activities of borrowing and lending, right. whereas bigger banks have much more complex models, they have more complex activities. So the actual impact of rising rates or steepening yield curve is not very clear on bigger banks. Some of, some of these bigger banks have a lot of um, interest rate securities in their investment portfolio. The value of those securities will come down as interest rates go up. Now that will not result in actual losses unless the banks sell them, but it will result in unrealized losses which impacts the capital position. I see. They also have other regulatory issues and some of them are exposed to Eurozone uh, issues too. So I think regional banks with their focus on local clientele and sim simpler business model, they're mm -hmm. in a better position to benefit as of now. All right. Well, you have a couple of examples of uh, regional bank ETFs that you're going to share. Yes. The first one is PowerShares KBW Regional Banking uh, ETF. The ticker is KBWR, charges an expense ratio of 35 basis points, mm -hmm. pays out a dividend of 1.92%. Um, as of now, it holds 50 regional banking companies in almost equal weight, so no concentration there. And it's a Zacks ranked number one strong buy ETF. Does it uh, hold these regional banks in, in any particular geographic region in the country or just kind of all spread over the out. place? Spread out all over the place. Okay, and then what's the second one? And the second one is Spider uh, S&P Regional Banking ETF. The ticker is KRE. It holds 79 securities, again, in almost equal weights. Uh, this also charges an expense ratio of 39, 35 basis points. Dividend yield is slightly lower, 1.81% as of now. It's a Zacks Rank 3 ETF. Okay. So the current environment, good for these kinds of ETFs. Are you taking it on a day-by-day -day basis, or can you say, oh, there'll be, it'll be a good environment from now till two months from now? Or? I, think, uh, I think in the midterm, at least one year from now, 
the outlook go looks good for the regional banks and regional banking ETFs. Okay, do you own either of these two? I don't. All right. We have other ETF articles for your review in the ETF section of Zax.com. So if you're not there already watching this video, get on over to the Zax.com homepage and link to the ETF section right off of that homepage. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.